Hello lads, I must admit that I have clickbaited you into watching this video but I only do it because it's very important what I'm about to tell you I only ever clickbait because I want the best for you, never doubt it in fact I would even go so far as to say that I'm trying to control you with my psychic powers okay bear with me I've just Reread Master of Mankind in the Horus Heresy series. Absolutely epic book. A bit tragic as well, but it adds to the epicness. So anyway, I will talk a bit about a few things I posted on Instagram before I begin to talk about what terrifies me. I'm trying to train you to retain attention. I'm trying to train your ability to to not get the answer immediately. I'm doing it for your own good, so keep watching. Anyway, I have, as you might noticed, I haven't made a book review video in a while because it's easier for me to go in nature to uh, elaborate on things, but uh, you can go and follow me on Instagram if you want more book reviews and I will try to talk more about it on YouTube as well, but um, I read first and foremost The Children of Hurin, great book, a must read for any fan of Tolkien, also epic in a tragic sense. Then more recently I read Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, and as I wrote on Instagram I didn't particularly enjoy it, but I got an acquired taste for his writing style at least so I decided to read so I decided to read notes from underground and I approached it in a different way so if you are going to read anything from Dostoevsky don't view the book as an epic tale where things are supposed to happen you know it's not like a historical fiction novel by Connie Gilden or Bernard Cornwell or even like Children of Hurin or Horus Heresy. A Dostoevsky book is an expose, uh, a deep dive into the human mind, into the deepest and darkest places of the human mind. So that is how you should view a Dostoevsky book. Do not view it as an epic tale of valor or anything, but rather view it as a way for you to gain insights into the minds of the lower. So the underground man, the notes from underground, you gain access to the mind of someone of the lower. So the opposite of a Tolkien hero who is um, of course the higher. So the lower and higher, I've talked about it before. That is how you should approach Dostoevsky's work. So view it as a unique way for you to gain insights into the minds of the depraved. And of course, if you read Crime and Punishment, it's a great way to get a look at Russian society in the 1860s. Very interesting stuff. Now then, what am I terrified of, you ask? Yes, I am terrified of humanity's ever-decreasing attention spans. Of course, for humans in general, it's bad, but it's particularly bad when it happens to young guys who could have been my disciples so therefore if you know that you are afflicted by this disease this curse of having a short attention span i encourage you to start reading books you know i talk a lot about of course going into the gym training for mind and body you know you want a bigger chest and you want um, a goal you can uh, do bench press continuously getting stronger that trains your mind and body you can also train your attention span, literally rewiring your brain to be able to focus on something for longer. You can do it by reading. So it doesn't really matter all too much what you're reading, as long as you train your mind to keep focus on something for a longer period of time. Because your brain, and I'm not perfect either, I have been guilty of this, you know, mindlessly scrolling and getting new visual stimuli all the time to get around it. To break free from the dopamine kick uh, of scrolling and constantly clicking. Yes, you can read books. You can train your mind to focus 
on something for a longer period of time. I promise you it will make you into a better human by doing it. And then of course you have different books for different purposes. You have my own book Dauntless which is mandatory reading. Link in the description box below. Order it if you haven't already. That's a manual. It's a guide on how to navigate the modern world. That's what it is. Then you have Dostoevsky. A look into the darkness of the human mind. Something else. Then you have Horus Heresy. Something to read and inspire you to you know, pursue a heroic aesthetic. Then you have Historical Fiction by Conor Gilden. You get a good view on epic historical events. So you see you have different books doing different things. Some teaches some books teach you certain things, some other books, something else. But all the books have in common that if you read, you train your mind to hold attention. And that is the main point of this video. I had to clickbait you into watching it, but it's so important that... You know, yeah, it had to be said. And of course, it doesn't sound as blackpilling as the death of Western civilization, but... You know, everything is connected to each other. You know, if we want to turn this ship around, we need to start with ourselves. And we can't save a civilization if we have attention spans that are completely destroyed. So anyway, that is my wisdom for the day. Get reading. A good rule is to read every other fiction. So you read one fiction book which uh, inspires you to pursue a heroic aesthetic. Then you read something more, you know, uh, a non-fiction book so you enhance your knowledge in your mind. So anyway, that is uh, what I wanted to say. Thank you for watching and if you have watched to this stage I salute you because it means that you have actually a better attention span than anyone who clicked away before the video was finished. XOXO, boom!